Have you ever wondered where the television signal you are watching is coming from? Next spring, the Kennebec River will flow free of logs for the first time in more than a century and a half. For Maine, with 90% of its land still covered by forests, wood is still big business. And when the industry was young, rivers provided the only route from virgin forests to the mills. Visitors to scenic western Maine this summer have been able to observe history in the making as they've watched these last river-driven logs being moved down Wyman Lake to the Wyman Dam Sluiceway. actually been two separate cleanup operations which bring to an end the last log drive down the Kennebec. The first is the picking operation on Moosehead Lake, which was headquartered this summer in the Katahdin, a converted lake steamer which has been in service on the lake since 1914. Uh, last uh, fall, last summer, we completed the towing on Moosehead Lake, and uh, last year we towed about 180,000 cards across Moosehead Lake. That was sluice down the east outlet. And uh, this summer we're just involved in uh, cleaning up the pulp around the shores of Moosehead Lake. And uh, we've built ourselves two rafts out of boom logs. And we're gonna tow these around the shores with our steel boats and uh, bring the pulp out from the shores and load it onto these rafts. And then it will be towed to a landing where it'll be unloaded by crane, piled up on the landing where later on it'll be trucked to the mill. It's just a rough estimate, but probably we should salvage around 1,000 to 1,500 cards of wood. They cut the tree length logs in the woods, and they bring them into this yard right here, and they pile it down, and then the slasher takes over. The slasher is a machine that's around 60 feet long, it cuts tree length wood up into four foot wood and it'll cut about 500 cards in 20 hours. So you start in the spring, as soon as they can truck, the first of June is when we generally start trucking down here to chase stream. And then we start the slashing. And as it has been in the past, we've trucked right through and cut right through till about March. And then they have to shut it down on account of the roads. They can't truck any more wood in. And we can generally have about 10,000 cards stockpiled down here. The box trucks, they're hauling about three cards and a half to a load, dumping them down the sluice. You have trucks with hydraulic dumps on them, and you back up to the sluice and you dump your wood into the sluice, which is three and a half cards of wood at a dump, and it runs down the sluice, which is 160 feet, and then it goes into the air, and it's another, it's 400 feet to the water, so then they go back and get another load. This continues 20 hours a day, right now. set on course by the highly mechanized process upstream, the logs find their way into Wyman Lake, where they are moved along in much the same fashion as in 1835, when the Kennebec Log Driving Company was first organized. At the top of Wyman Lake, 4,000 or more cord of wood at a time is tied off and towed the final eight miles to the Wyman Dam Sluiceway. Although the log booms are towed down the lake by powerful tugboats, Adverse weather conditions may make it impossible to go the eight miles in less than eight or nine hours. Once the tugboat arrives near the sluiceway with its 4,000 cord of wood in tow, the boom is opened and the logs are forced into the sluiceway, thereby crossing their last major hurdle before arrival at the mill for processing. That's the way it's been for decades. But no more. 